Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1243. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, actually, we've already done this exact task a few times. We have this huge data set, and we need to transform it into a much smaller data set. Over here on the notes sheet, we already did this in Mr. Excel. Excel is fun. Trick number 74. There we did advanced filter and power query. I did it with formulas and, and regular Excel stuff in Excel Magic Trick 1242. And Bill Sizz's Excel Master just posted an awesome power query example here and you can go watch it there. I'm going to repeat his example here because it's got an amazing trick that doesn't require merging and his solution is a lot shorter than the solution I did. But then I'm going to actually repeat Mr. Excel's advanced filter with a slight alteration and I want you guys to vote which one of these two methods you like better. Now again the Power Query has a cool trick that I have never seen. So we're going to start with Bill Sizz's example here. Now, our goal is very simple, and it's written up here. We need to get from this huge data set, just the countries listed here, and there's a bunch of comma separated countries from this huge list, control down arrow. So there's like 3,000 plus records. And from the indicators, we only need GDP and then all the way from 1970 to 2013, we only need 2000 to 2010. Now, at Power Query, right? This has to be a table, and this has to be a table. So I'm going to type countries, Control Enter, Control B, Control D to convert it to a table. Enter Alt J T A to jump up to Table Tool Designs and name this. Countries table and enter. Now control T, enter, Alt J T A, and I'm going to call this one up here. Start GDP table and enter. Now we have these two tables. And watch this. In the video I did, I we used the merge feature, but we're going to add this power query and from table. By the way, there is a keyboard, and I use it sometimes. It's Alt Y1 Y A. Now that is a terribly long keyboard. That's why probably most of us don't use it. But we imported it as a table and watch this right click drill down. And it shows us just as our text. I'm going to close and load to only a connection. We'll save this one. We'll connect later. In essence, that text list, right click down, drill down, that text list will be our filter. It's going to be quite amazing. All right, now I come over here, Alt Y1, Y A, and I'm first going to filter right down here, select all GDP. Actually, Bill says is search for GDP and got it that way, but I'm going to click OK. Now, I only want some of the columns, right? I'm going to click Country, and watch this. I'm going to scroll over, and when I see 2,000, Right here, I'm holding Control and clicking to highlight columns not next to each other. Now I'm going to scroll over to 2010, holding Shift. I highlight all of those. If you scroll over, you can see, boom, right click, remove other columns. Notice I don't need that GDP in the final report at all, but it was part of our Power Query process over here when we filtered. And now watch this. Bill Sizzis says, uh-uh, I'm going to come here, text filters, contains. We want to do a contains. We want to tell it what it should contain. And I'm going to put XXX, some text that will never show up in the column. That criteria can't be found. So when I click OK, I get a zero answer query. But check this out. Up in the formula bar, we have country column from this table filtered by XXS. We're going to change the country to the actual name of our imported table that we drilled down and showed text. So it's countries table. I hope I spelled that right. Oh man, you can click over here. Countries table, I think I got it right. And now we're going to say, in place of the XXX, we want the column from this table in square brackets, country end square bracket, 
And when I hit Enter, one more parentheses and Enter, and there it is. Now I can close and load to. I'm going to put on a table on New Sheet, click Load. That is amazing, and that's a lot fewer steps than I did in my Power Query example. Now we do have to add some custom formatting. So Control-1 down here under Custom, pound, comma, pound, 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 and then to display in millions, I add comma, comma, and you can see it's displayed in millions. Click OK. Now, of course, this is not a proper finished report. Right click Insert, because we don't know what the units are, right? And I'm going to put this label here that says CONSTA 2005 prices US dollars shown in millions all countries. Now I'm going to double click and call this Bill Sizz's Power Query. And now I want to go over and do this advanced filter. And what's so amazing about the example Mr. Excel did, and a couple people commented on this, we can create a extract area. And I'm going to copy these two field names over to the side here and put only the columns we want. So we want only the years 2010 to 2000. So notice the table has lots of field names and column names, right? But by listing in the extract area the exact field names from the original table that you want, that does part of the filtering. And actually, I didn't know that before. Advanced filter is pretty amazing. Now we need to come over here. We're still going to have to do a couple kind of tedious steps. We need to break this apart. So we go data, text to columns, or Alt A E delimited. We want to click Next. Comma, I would love to do a space, but we can't do a space here because it would break United States out. So man, look at that. We have leading spaces. We will have to deal with that. Next, we're all good. Click Finish. Control Shift, right arrow, Control C. Scroll over here, and I'm going to click in the top cell. Right click, and I'm going to use that little transpose right there. We have the leading spaces. I'm going to use my favorite haircut function, trim, left arrow, control, enter, double click, and send it down. And now that I already have it highlighted, I'm going to right click the edge and drag over. And when I let go of my right click, I say copy here as values only. Control home. I actually need to also add this gross domestic product as one of our criteria for our criteria range. I'm going to highlight this whole range here and Control V. Now it looks like there's a leading space there, but that is alignment. Alt E A F removes all the formatting. Now this is a, an advanced filter set of criteria. In essence, each row is the AND conditions. It's saying to the original data set, in the country I want Argentina, and in the indicator I want gross domestic product. But then when you go down to the next row, it's OR. Then the logical sequence goes Belgium and gross domestic product, OR Brazil and gross domestic product, OR Canada. So this is a combination of and two items in the same row. And as we go down through the rows, those are OR conditions. Now we just go over to the original data set, click in a single cell, Alt A Q. I'm going to say copy to another location, criteria range. This is simply amazing. Right there. Broop. And our copy to, this is where we tell the advanced filter which columns we want. I simply highlight this. I can't believe how amazing that is. Click OK. Now I can highlight, and if I were doing it manually, I needed to fit auto column widths here, or I can do Alt H O I. Now we actually don't need this, so I'm going to highlight this column and right click Delete. Shift cells left, it guessed right. Highlight all the numbers, Alt E A F to remove just the formatting. Control 1, we need to do, go down to custom, pound, comma, pound, 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 comma, comma. Click OK and maybe change the column widths. We don't need it. 
And there's our label. And we could do some more formatting there like we did in the earlier videos with every, every other column. But man, advanced filter is really amazing. Over here, when we did our Power Query, we saw an amazing example of editing the contains formula to look at that drill down text column and point it to the country column. Oh my heavens, I can't believe how cool it is to be hanging out on our online Excel team. Now I want you to vote. Hey, in this particular situation, does it look like Power Query would be the most efficient way, or is it Advanced Filter? All right, we'll see you next trick.